meet the next generation of global leaders. These students are playing the role of United Nations diplomats. Each of them is representing a country other than their own. They're debating resolutions on disarmament, women's rights and conflict resolution. At this mock session of the Security Council, there's debate on whether Israeli troops should be stationed in the Palestinian territories. They've been like this for how many years? Delegates are encouraged to veto, lobby and make amendments to propose resolutions. Many of our students have personally witnessed the, the results of failed global diplomacy. Uh, we've had students where family members have been arrested, uh, family members have been detained, uh, houses have been destroyed, they've been displaced, and even family members or friends who have been killed. Uh, and so I think what makes Mali United Nations special is that it teaches students to avoid narrow or nationalistic perspectives on issues. Children from 70 countries have come to Qatar to join this model United Nations. This is the first time a youth conference of this scale is taking place in the Gulf region in the Middle East. And the students here say they feel very much inspired by the recent events of the Arab Spring. As a young Arab, it's kind of inspirational because in Egypt it was us who drove the revolution. So I think change is good and it's time for change. I see it as a very good opportunity to, to provide a basis for change, a foundation, uh, as you can say, a blank slate for us to start over again as an Arab nation. The Arab Spring is all leading to a democratic uh, style of uh, government in S Syria, Egypt and Tunisia. And um, sometimes the people might not have the best understanding of the economy and how it can be fixed and they might not uh, elect the right person. The resolutions and ideas put forward at the end of the conference will be sent to the United Nations in New York. They'll become an official part of the UN archives. The students here hope that their voices will be heard as they grow up to lead real change. Nazanin Sadri, Al Jazeera, Doha.